we are once again looking at Image Magic here and the Image Magic package, which is uh, like GIMP for the command line. And it has a lot of programs in the package, and one of them is the display command. And we're going to use display to view the image that we are starting with. So display in the name of the image file. And there we go, we have an image of Fat Frog. Go ahead and YouTube him, Fat Frog. He's got some cool videos. So now that we know what our original video or image looks like, let's convert it using convert. And we're going to say dash border because we are going to add a border. What type of border? A color border. So convert dash border color. And then we're going to say a color. We'll just say red and we'll give it a red border. And then we'll do dash border and give it a number. This is uh, the size of the border, I believe in pixels. So higher the number, the thicker the border. We're going to type in 10 to start out. Then we're going to give our input file and our output file. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It's already done. We're going to now display our output file. And there we go. We have our image now with a red border. Let's do the same thing. Let's make the number bigger. Let's go 100. Display the output file. Oh, look. Now, do note that it changes the size of the image. It doesn't crop the image in as it creates the border. It builds the border out. Uh, that is uh, something that could mess you up depending on what you're trying to do. So keep that in mind. OK. So let's have a look at the command again. Convert dash border color, the color we want, dash border, the size of the border, input file, output file. Let's go back and change the border size to 20, so it's a little bit bigger than the first one, and give it another color. We'll give it green. We'll display that, and as you can see, it added a green border. That's 20 pixels big. Let's try yellow seems to work and most basic colors uh, you will be able to just type the name now once again if you watched uh, my color uh, colorization tinting video with image magic uh, we're gonna do the same thing here if you want to give it a, an exact color you can use RGB just by instead of typing the name of the color we're gonna go with single quotes and we're going to type RGB and then in parentheses, give our RGB values. So red, green, blue, separated by commas. I'm going to go comma, or sorry, zero, comma. I'm going to go 255, comma, 200. So there's going to be no red in this color. It's going to be 255, which the values are from zero to, from zero to 255. So 255 is basically like 100% green in that value, but we're also going to mix it with a value of 200 blue. Let's give that a try, and we'll have a look. There we go, and we got kind of an aqua green blue color there because we got the red and, or sorry, the green and blue mixed. Let's put that the green to zero, and put red to 200 run the same command again, display the output, and we got kind of a purplish pink color because we mixed red and blue together. I thank you for watching and please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. That's Chris with a K and the link is in the description. Have a great day.